Establishing the Kingdom with Mike Williams. Mike Williams delivers a prophetic, cutting-edge message which will challenge your comfort and complacency in the Lord. Mike is called to take the foundation message of the early church and restore it in today's world that we may fulfill our purpose for this and all generations and establish God's kingdom in the earth today. Open your Bibles tonight to the book of 1 John, chapter 3. 1 John, chapter 3. And the church reminds me of a man that was mowing his lawn and cut his hand. And it wasn't very serious, but his wife wanted him to go to the emergency room and have it looked at, so he drove himself to the hospital. And when he got to the hospital, he, he saw two doors. One said male and one said female. So he entered the door that said male, and when he got inside, he saw two more doors. One said over 40 and one said under 40. So he entered the door that said over 40, and when he got inside, he saw two more doors. One said upper body, the other said lower body. So he entered the door that said upper body, and when he got inside, he saw two more doors. One said external, and the other said internal. So he entered the door that said external, and when he got inside, he saw two more doors. One said serious, one said not so serious. So he entered the door that said not so serious, and he found himself out on the parking lot. So he got in his car and drove home. And when he got home, his wife said, well, did they help you? He said, no, but they sure were organized. That is the church today. We are very, very organized. We can orchestrate a meeting like you wouldn't, if the anointing wasn't here, some of you wouldn't know it. Because we can, make, we can orchestrate the meeting in such a way that you will think God did incredible things in this place. And he didn't, wasn't even here. <laughs> We've got Christian television and Christian radio and Many of us, we, 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 we don't even want to work on secular jobs because we just want to be around Christians all day. Now, that's not the case for most of it. Um, but, in fact, I work with Christians, and it, they ain't all, that crack, all they're cracked up to be. <laughs> in fact, I've never had to pray so much in my life as since I started working with Christians. Give me the sinners any day. <laughs> I'm telling you. See, the problem we, we face sometimes is that uh, the war we wrestle, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Paul says, we do not war with people. Our battle is not with people. However badly they may treat you, however much they may try to use you, your battle is not with people. It is with devils. The problem we face is that the devils we wrestle with manifest themselves through people. And the problem we face in the Christian church and on Christian jobs is that the devils we wrestle with manifest themselves through other pro professing Christians like we are. Well, I've, God bless you, I'm going on. <laughs> no. Now, so many of us, we just want to work on our Christian job. We listen to our Christian radio all the way. Christian songs, if we don't have that, we plug in a tape of Christian songs. We don't want to listen to any secular songs and none of that because what fellowship has light with darkness? And I would only listen, and we don't even listen to too much uh, unless it's Hosanna Integrity. <laughs> now they're all right. Now I guess I won't battle them too much. But we listen to our Christian radio on the way to our Christian job. We work with Christians. And then we go home, listen to our Christian radio station all the way home, turn on Christian television, and it sits there until we get up the next morning. Meanwhile, we've got a world that is on its way to hell. A world that we, have we know absolutely nothing about because they don't tell you enough about what's going on in the world on TBN. Hal Lindsey is not enough for you to know what's going on right now in this country, in this world. You can find out more crossing the street than you're going to find out on TBN about what's going on in the world. And the church is absolutely out of touch. Well, you're probably not going to shout tonight, but we need to hear this anyway. Now, you've enjoyed the presence of the Lord. Now sit down and listen to me. <laughs> As I speak under the anointing of the Lord, 
I pray.